Welcome back to the channel guys, Queen Reaper here. In today's video, we're going to be going over five random things that you probably didn't know were overpowered in Skyrim. These aren't necessarily going to be weapons. There will be a couple weapons in there, but it's going to be items that you literally did not know were overpowered. So if you want to see what items can help you on your trek as the Dragonborn, then just stay tuned for, because we're going to jump right into the video. So the first item we're going to talk about that I'm sure you've probably been hearing about here lately is, of course, vegetable soup. Now the reason that this is overpowered is because the soups in Skyrim you can actually stack and get multiple effects from it. So as you can see it restores one point of health per second for 100, 720 seconds which actually evens out to be 12 minutes for one soup. So if you take multiple soups, let's say you take two soups, you're getting your health regen per second for a total of 24 minutes. As far as acquiring the ingredients for vegetable soup, it's very quite easy. Just visit the farm areas around Whiterun. They will have most of the ingredients that you need. Um, some of the ingredients that you're missing you can actually find in barrels and crates throughout Skyrim and mainly in Whiterun. Or if all else fails, you can just visit one of the merchants to buy the ingredients that you are missing. Next up we have another soup and that is Horker and Yam Stew. This is another stackable food item. Uh, it restores 16 points of health and 12 points of stamina. If you stack this that will double the effect. Uh, acquiring the ingredients for this are actually quite easy. Horkers are found in the snowy icy regions of Skyrim. Once you've taken out a Horker just go up and take the Horker meat from it and then we will take a trek out to Solstheim to get the rest of the ingredients that we need. Here in Solstheim, you will need to find Ashiams, which you can only find in Morrowind. If you arrive in Ravenrock and take a right out of the city, make your way down the trail, you will come to Old Adius Farm, and he actually has a little area beside the cottage that you can find Ashiams. Just harvest those, and then you, if you have the house in Ravenrock, you can actually go in to make the soup yourself. Some of the barrels there will actually have the other ingredient we need, which is garlic. If you cannot find it there, you can find it throughout Skyrim or just visit a merchant to get your ingredients. First weapon on our list is a very famous weapon called the Blade of Woe. You acquire this dagger doing the Dark Brother quest line. You get it from Astrid. Uh, the wonderful thing about this dagger is just alone, it does 10 points of health absorb per hit. And since it's a dagger, it does have a fast attack of 1.3, making the total base damage of this dagger 22. The Blade of Woe has an enchantment charge of 500 and a cost of 40, meaning you can get 12 uses out of it before it needs to be charged. However, because of its capacity, you only need to fill it with a Petty Soul Gem. Due to a bug, the Blade of Woe can be upgraded at a grindstone without the need for any ingots. As long as you have a Steel Smithing perk and the Arcane Blacksmith perk, you can actually double the damage of this weapon. Next weapon we're going to talk about is the Blood Skull Blade. It's a two-handed weapon with a unique ability that turns it both into a ranged weapon and a melee weapon. It's a great sword with a base damage of 21, but during power attacks it unleashes an energy blast inflicting an additional 30 damage. The enchantment has unlimited uses and the weapon can be upgraded using a silver ingot but cannot be upgraded past flawless. What makes this weapon so great is it does level up with your character. If you are under level 50 you get the plus 30 damage boost but if you are above level 50 you get a plus 50 damage boost. The weapon is found in Blood Skull Borrow on Solstheim. You can start the quest line The Final Descent by talking to Cressius Corellius uh, at the Raven Rock Mine. Last item on our list is going to be a potion, and it is the Fortify Regen Restore Magicka Potion. The ingredients you need for this are Dwarven Oil, Mora, Tapanella, and Fire Salts. And what this ends up creating is the Potion of Regenerate Magicka, which your Magicka regens 28% faster for 5 minutes, your Magicka restores 28 points, and your Illusion Spells are 23% stronger for 60 seconds. Now, if you are equipped with Fortify Alchemy gear and you do the Restoration Loop trick in the game, you can also get these stats much higher. This is perfect for high-level mages in the game who are also relying on Illusion spells. Getting the ingredients for this potion are fairly easy. Dwarven oil is found at either alchemists or in Dwarven ruins. Mora Tapanella you can find out in the wild on tree trunks. And fire salts you can find from fire atronachs or from merchants. 
All right, guys, we have reached the end of the video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I will be dropping more gaming content in the future. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch as I do live stream Skyrim and ESO and other variety games over there at Queen Reaper Gaming. You can check the link in my bio. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all enjoy your adventures. See you later, fellow Dovican.